well, it's our new car at Goodwood. We launched it here um, to the media yesterday, but it's the first time the public have seen it today. And we're hugely excited about it because this is a very limited run car. This is the one we sweat and try and get through the money men to actually get out the door. It's 250 units, the fastest Jaguar we've ever created. We know uh, XJ220 out there is a uh, higher torque speed, so it haunts us. But this is the quicker around the Nürburgring and quicker accelerating. It's 3.8 to 60 mile an hour. Well, it was a concept car here last year, and it actually triggered a whole load of things because everybody loved the concept car last year. There was zero intention of making it. But I challenged uh, Dr. Ralph Speth here last year. We have to find a way you can do it. He has the same opinion. And it needed actually a whole new division at Jaguar and Andro uh, creating to be able to produce this sort of car. So we've actually, in the last few months, been putting together a new business plan for Jaguar and Andro Special Operations. And part of that is Special Vehicle Operations, a completely new division. It's going to be off-site uh, away for Jaguar and Andro. And they are going to create these sort of limited run cars in the future. This is Project 7. And I would love to tell you what Project 8, Project 9, Project 10 are, but I'm not going to. But we are, it's a sort of a, a different mindset going on at Jaguar. We're going to come up with these sort of really special cars in the future. Perfect. Um, what, what markets do you think Project 7 is going to do well in and why? It's car nuts. I mean, it, it's one of those, it's a joy, isn't it, to sell a car like this. There's only a few coming to the UK and it, we're already, the phone calls are coming in. And it, it's just an enthusiast car. I think it's a great recipe. It, Jaguar F-Type um, convertible like this is actually our smallest car on sale and this has actually got our biggest engine we've ever created, the most powerful engine, in our smallest car. Well that's the sort of thing that enthusiasts just love and that's, that, yeah, that's why people just want to buy this sort of car. Sport Speed brings in um, a really good audience for us and I love the way it sort of varies from day to day. Thursday we've got, yeah, cool, uh, car enthusiasts here because they've come down for the moving motor show they're so sort of buyers um, there's also the auction preview so you've got some very wealthy individual here as well tomorrow is auction day so i expect that actually to be our busiest day and it's and it's um the, the blokes day i always think is friday because they've come down about the kids and then the weekend is the family and then we sell a whole range of cars and we entertain our clients and that sort of thing it's it's the venue in the in the uk now and it's growing on internationally it goes alongside, we're going to Pebble Beach as well, and we're going to Festival Speed. You always do the most shows, so that's how you get the media involved. But actually, core customers, Festival Speed is where it's at in the UK. We, I always think, uh, it really seems to want to own a Jaguar. It's a bit like Alfa Romeo. And now we're actually getting products that people really want to buy from us. So you can see it in the sales figures and see the success we've had as a company. And we've got, they're great because we're feeding off the success of Land Rover and we're all the attention, it's the year of the cat for us at Jaguar Land Rover and we're sorting Jaguar out and this is the sort of car that really changes people's perceptions of Jaguar. That's an interesting area for us because it's a big debate, you know, I can remember a few years ago, should Jaguar actually produce those sort of cars? But you can't ignore the customer and customer's king in this. They want these cars, sports utilities, they're sort of taking over from what we used to call estate cars, those sort of things. People want their cars to do everything and the SUV, sporting SUV, is where the market's hot. And I think with Jaguar design and the interiors we do, we can be very successful in there and be different to Land Rover. Land Rover is all about rugged uh, products that really prove themselves off-road. Jaguar is all about really cool cars that are really great on-roads and that's the differentiation. So it's a great place for Jaguar to be going and you'll be seeing some in next year. We've got another special car here at uh, Goodwin. We're launching the uh, Range Rover Sport SVR. Sister car is produced by the same team who produced this. They've done um, the ultimate sporting Land Rover, the SVR is our new term for it. Um, that's launched here, 550 horsepower. You'll see it disguised still because it's not quite ready to show the whole thing. You'll hear it tomorrow though, flying up the hill. Um, yeah, I can't wait for that comes out just the end of this year.